You had never put anything about you being down with the trans thing out there publicly before. This is the first no, time no, that no, it, no. you put it out yeah, on yeah, social media. There or was anything. one time some shit came out of me on the internet one time, bro, a couple of years ago. And anyone that's from Long Island is going to get a laugh at this one. But yeah, some shit came out of me on the internet when I was doing weird shit, bro, selling myself for drugs, bro. Oh, shit. To men. Whoa. Me, dog. Me in a mother motel room selling myself to men. Yeah, I admit it. I was up on drugs, man. That's not the story I'm trying to get. Don't around with these things man mm. the drugs mm -hmm. will dress you up however they want to dress you up and make you do whatever the fuck you got to do damn so how long were you doing that for uh probably like a good like six months and mm. what happened was you know my, my crib set and, and my dad's club found out and i was involved with both at the time mm. hanging around both so now you gotta think bro i got people literally saying like there's gonna be money put on my head type shit bro right you know yeah if i come around you're getting smoked but then i had then i had some i had some crib you know I watch my language here, bro. I mean, that's how I speak. So I say the N word. It is what it is. But hey, whatever you gonna do. Yeah, I had some you know, a couple from my crib home. He was like, "Yo, you're just. It's all good, bro. Like, fold your flag respectfully and go live your life, bro. Mm. You know, go back to Florida because I moved home for a little bit, and that's when I started doing this when I was living with my dad. Mm -hmm. And bro, like when this shit came on the internet, it was embarrassing shit, bro. Mm. Yeah, me up in women's clothing, dog. Because yeah, this, this you're not embarrassed of, but this other shit was shit that you didn't want to be yeah, doing. You were was, just bro, doing yeah, it yeah, because yeah, you bro, did I'm drugs. I'm in women's fucking clothing, bro, selling myself for drugs. Now, find me a man that can admit that on camera, bro. You guys can make right. fun of me if you want, but it's, I'm trying to spread a message, man. It's easy to fucking make fun of me, but it's, it's a lot harder to actually sit there and maybe think what just I was a feeling. a real person. Bro, mm. like, some pictures came out. My man hit me up one day when I was with my other chick. Just a natural chick who was never down to swing, have fun, nothing. Like, just very you know uh whatever the f you want to call it traditional uh -huh. so she's like yo jess i love you bro but like there's some shit on the internet about you bro that's like you know pretty bad so i, I looked at it bro i fucking fainted bro straight up real fell down my girl got the phone let me see that <gasps> what the f oh my god are you gay ah, ah, like all this crazy shit woo, woo, woo. i got family members hit me like one thing that happened is my father never hit me up not once that was the only person i wish would have called me because i wanted to kill myself right off the rip bro mm -hmm. that's how much that's how much cyber bullying and this may sound corny for me to say things the word bullying. could have been so different if you got that support from just your father yeah, your family your it's your child. Your dad didn't hit you up because he didn't know? He would not hit me up because he, he found out. was oh, so embarrassed because okay. his entire club knew and everyone's hitting him up. Mm. But like, yo, you know what a real man would do, bro? Is You know your son probably wants to kill himself. Why don't you f sit there and make sure he's good, man? Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Like, and that should go for any father or any kid or any parent. Like, man, make sure your kids are good, dude, because this is a rough world out there. Bro, mm. I have like 10,000 fucking people reposted it from my area because I'm a well-known guy where I'm from, bro. Right. For, you know, both counties, Nassau and Suffolk. Everyone's reposting this shit. It's going around my girlfriend's family at the time, my aunts, my uncles, mm -hmm. my cousins, my parents' phones, mm -hmm. pictures, bro. Crazy. I just wanted to, I literally wanted to kill myself every day, man. Mm. You know, I felt so, be. I, I, always used to, I used to be that guy that would make fun of people, right? And I realized, wow, what the fuck did I do? I, I, deserved, I deserved every moment of that, bro. Mm. I deserved every moment of that shit. Really? Yeah, absolutely. I don't, I don't, I don't hate on anyone for for posting or any of that. I probably deserved it because of the person I used to be back at home. Wow. So say I'm a changed it's, man now, and people make these we comments like they want me to come out and be that person. If I was in that, if I was that person I used to be, and I ran into you, man, it's going to be a problem. Mm. And you're going to regret it. Do you ever I, go back to Long Island now, and you see I'll people from your old life? There's nothing I'll, there. There's nothing there for me, man. I got a couple brothers out there. You know, my boy Nick Jordan, Tyler Lenny. You know, some brothers that really hold me down and, and respect my lady. I'll do anything for those guys, man. You know, like they're, I got a I got a couple uncles that that got my back, but mm. you know they can only say so much because you know they gotta respect my father's views. Like, you know, my father wishes death on us, bro. Yeah, that's a wild thing that I've seen over and over is that I will I will be talking to a crib or a blood on here, and a lot of times in this day and age. They're fairly open minded about gay people and whatever. Yeah, and and a, a, a lot of them will shit. say, listen, if you want to live your life, live your life however That's you want to live. I'm not going to judge you. I'm not going to hate you. Yeah. But then when it comes to street shit, when it comes to the gang, all of a sudden they have a very different tune yeah. when it comes to that. And they'll yeah. say, like, listen, that will well, never fly. And I get like you know. the crossover between that, like, you know, especially since, you know, Jesse isn't even a part of anything. Mm. Yeah, so no more. That's my why, past. Why past. should it even be an issue? Why should yeah. it even be just because of somebody's past? It doesn't mean that they can't change. It's just like if somebody that was overweight wanted to get fit and live a healthy life, like 
they want better for themselves. But Why can't we want better you know, for Scott, ourselves? When I was getting high, my family would have done anything to get me sober. Mm -hmm. I get clean, I get sober. I meet the love of my life right here, man. I really mean that. And now you guys won't just be happy. Like, now I got clean and sober. Now you want to kick me out the whip? Like, you mm -hmm. guys... You guys could go fill up the tank when it hits half. That ain't gonna be around, bro. Mm. Like you guys could have that, bro. I got, I got a cold heart from all the shit we've been through, bro. Like I got fired from a job for dating her, bro. Yeah, right. from a fucking plumbing company for dating her, bro. In Long Island or in Florida? Nah, Florida. 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 Right, and there's some legal shit going on with that. Oh, that's you know, then with all 2023, bro. Our life is just now getting good. God, God's been good to us recently. Bless. We for a year straight, someone was sending pictures to my 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 parents, my father of, from my OnlyFans, from her OnlyFans, oh, which is weird because you got to be subscribed to get to it but sending pictures and I'm, I'm, I'm i have my best friend with me my big homie since sixth grade like a big bro living with me and i'm telling him bro someone keeps sending these pictures to my dad so they stopped for a while and then my mom was like yeah your dad said he might come around and talk to you so i was all excited like like a little kid and boom i, I told my roommate the deal my like, yo like my dad said he's gonna come around the next morning some pictures to send to my dad so i'm telling my girl man it's got to be someone close to us mm. right and my man, and my, I'm like an investigator. I'm my, like, she's living with me at the time. Something's off. She's living with me. Yeah. She was living with me and my roommate, my best friend, for a long time, cleaning up after him, everything. To find out, bro, it's my roommate the whole fucking time, bro. Oh, shit. Like, this is the shit that we deal with, all because I date a trans girl. How did you, know you figure I mean? out it was the roommate? Uh, be, he forgot. admitted it he, when he, I. He, he, someone, he admitted it somehow or some shit. I don't know how it came about, but it somehow we tracked it back to him and. Uh, I called him and I was like, no, it happened again. He did it again. Yeah. too." And I was like, it is what it is. You need to, you know, I'm going to press charges mm. because those are, you know, privately Property. owned pictures. You mm. can't just be sending them, distributing them around without my consent. Right. Um, under, unknowingly, you know, in a hateful, spiteful way. So, you know, I have my lawyer and everything and <sighs> We called around, we called his job, you know, got him fired, yeah, like, you know. That, that hurt don't, me, man, like that, that was like, crazy. Don't you stole, you stole my girl's first impression. Yeah. She can't get that back. Mm. You stole that. My friends it's like, let them look at their that. own time. Don't just throw it in their faces. Because you felt like you had a chance to introduce your parents to her yeah, and to, have them be accepting. Them. And his mom yeah. has been amazing. She's, my you know, I knew it was going to take her a little time. And it's very big for me because I've never had a boyfriend's mother accept me. Mm. Um, you know, for me, my old boyfriend um, smacked me in front of his mother and she asked me what I did wrong to upset him <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> fucking, I, like yeah, that was when i that was in long island that's when i knew like that was my like okay i gotta get out of here but you know he's he's just fully supported me through and through and he's just so loving i, I support and her you know? i feel so safe with him knowing that no matter what we go through he's always gonna be here for me mm -hmm. and i'll always be here for him i know i know right now if i got caught up and I had to do 10 years bro i'll if, be right if, there if, if, I, the commissary, if, I, if I woke up without a dollar tomorrow <laughs> my girl would never let me star she'll never let me freeze like i put everything into this girl right here man and i think a lot of men should do that you know like our relationship bro like we we help that's all we a partner help, is we is help supporting couples. somebody mm. you know that's supporting your significant yeah. other so, like we have a lot of couples that hit us up we have yeah. a lot of other types of people hit us up bro we help a lot of people mentally we saved a lot of people i've had people tell me you saved my life Inspired. you know showing me that there's hope that i'm going to get a man you know as a trans woman i've you know showed men hope to be able to speak about this shit mm. you know and that's what i'm out here trying to do man like i'm not trying to push no agenda on nobody i'm just trying to like recently, this girl Can helped me. Can we not me. post our lives and be happy like everybody else? Right. Like, like this, this girl. This girl helped me get comfortable with myself, and the most beautiful thing is, through getting me clean, she helped me find my purpose in life. Mm. This is my purpose, brother. Being around this stuff, spreading a message. How long were you guys together before you decided that you really had to get? Well, actually, no. How long were you together? before you realized you were in love like how long did that so I, i'll be honest man I, I really fell in love with this woman pretty quick mm. i really did man i really fucking felt it and there's days where i have where i talk yeah, i'll call I feel her like i knew I'll i just like, knew this was the guy i was supposed to be with and travel on our journeys and have fun and experience life together i think that's what life yeah. is all about is enjoying it with your partner mm. like there's days man where i, I call her i'm like babe i I'm we just call feeling this, so much I'm feeling myself time, like every... fall deeper in love with you. Like I miss you so much right now at work. Like I can't wait to come home to you. Like I He'll tell call her, me I feel with a customer. The... Yeah, I call, bro. <laughs> almost every one of my customers, man. Customers in what line of work like, now? Like there, we see the background of my phone. I'm a plumber. Okay. So. Right. 
I've learned so much. It's they amazing. they see the background on my phone, like, oh my God, who is that? My husband, my girl, like, she's gorgeous. And once in a while, like, yeah, I'll bring it up. I'll be like, yeah, like, you know what the best part about this girl? Like, if he my, reads the room, if correctly. I read the room right, I'll talk mm. about it. I've had customers can sit there and cry. They got a Biden like, bumper sticker. You're like, okay, <laughs> you're so. like, we yeah, got yeah, it. Then I could probably bring it up. Yeah, yeah. But now I've had, I've had Trump fan customers too. Like, you know what, brother? Mm. I'm not into it, but you just.